after a week and a half in Paris, France and Champagne, I'm finally here in London. Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. I didn't... Surprise, 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 surprise. I am here in London, United Kingdom, starting the last leg of my Roam Around the World journey throughout Paris and the UK. I had an amazing time in the Olympics and in Champagne. If you haven't seen those vlogs, go ahead and check them out. But last night, I took the train, the Eurostar, from Paris, France, in Gare du Nord to St. Pancras here in London, United Kingdom, because I'll be here for about five nights. Um, I think most of you guys know, I work for a company that has an office here in London, and I am working with a bunch of colleagues that are based in London, so I figured, since I'm in the region, why not stop by? As well as like extend the weekend, do my thing, and then head back home. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in London doing a travel vlog series called Roam Around the World, where you travel the world with me, Jerome, so please consider subscribing. I, you guys have seen me already stay at the Citizen M Hotel. It is a perfect hotel, especially for just one person. Two, it's a little bit crowded, but for one, it is enough room. Checked in late last night. Um, took an Uber from the train station all the way here, ate some dinner, did some emails for work, and now, after a week and a half out of the office, I'm going back. So, come along. Uh, today's going to be filled with seeing some coworkers, and I think we have uh, meetings throughout the day, like one-on-ones. Later today we have a happy hour with my team, and yeah. Come along. I'm staying here at the Citizen M in Shoreditch. Love this place because it is just a short walk to the train station and just one tube stop away from my office. So, see you guys in a bit. So, after going to the office, put the stuff down, looked at some emails and I'm here with my co-worker and friend Ritika. You guys remember her from last time. We are nearby at this place called Camden Passage. Found a restaurant called Kip Thurl. It looks like it's it's an Austrian restaurant. Uh, gonna grab some quick lunch. No, brunch. Breakfast. And um catch up. So The thing that I've noticed is that being West Coast, I start my day early and end early, but they end their day late, like at 6.30, which is right now. So, heading over to happy hour with some friends. Oh, <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Okay, so after drinks, we ended up going to King's Cross because I convinced some people to to go to Dishoom. Is it? Is, Ash, is Dishoom? Is I'm your not favorite? being on camera. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> He's like, I'm not on camera. He doesn't like Dishoom. I don't not like it, I just think it's basic. It's basic, but I like it, and I'm basic, so <laughs> we will see you guys inside. Every time I'm in a Citizen M room with the lights, it does this, but it's so much fun today having dinner with coworkers at one of my favorites, Dishoom. Had the biryani with chicken and cranberry, had the dal, the naan, ruby chicken, uh, masala prawns, it was also good, as well as the unlimited chai. 
but I'm gonna head to bed soon. Um, tomorrow, another full day at work here in London. I'll see you guys in the morning. And just like that, it is the morning time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. It is Thursday morning. Gonna do the same thing as yesterday, head over to the office. I realized yesterday I didn't vlog much in the office, mainly because I was catching up on emails, catching up on messages out of like a week and a half of being out of office. So maybe I'll try to, you know, get a little footage in the office. Um, excited for today because today I'm having lunch with my immediate design team my immediate team uh, within my org. So you'll see them during lunch maybe. Maybe I'll sh spot in a few things here and there. But yeah, let's go to work. Okay, so just got out of the tube. Before heading to the office, gonna go grab some coffee at a nearby area called the Camden Passage. They have a bunch of like stores, cafes, coffee shops, and there have been a few that I've been looking at ever since coming here, so one of them has a cookie that looks amazing. Also look at the bricks. <laughs> I said I would vlog, but it's pretty quiet in here. But this is what it looks like. Pretty quiet. Anyways, back to work. So after lunch, kind of weird to bring up my camera and start talking. Uh, Ritika and I are heading over to another coffee shop nearby, so we're gonna go grab some coffee, midday coffee, and then head to meetings, but let's go find something to give us caffeine. Leaving the office right now, gonna look for some food. Not sure if I'm gonna be back here tomorrow, but let's admire the lobby. I think I'm gonna go find some food and I can go to a pub, so we'll see. Dinner was so good at the pub. Ended up getting like this melon dish as well as like this bream fish with this like bisque on the side. Heading back to my hotel and I possibly might just get dessert, we'll see. Again with this light. <laughs> Just getting back to the hotel room. Ended up stopping by this place called the After School Cookie Club. They do like soft serve with uh, cookies and then you can do like cookie sandwiches. You can do like cookie dough. I um, hope this is not too crazy, but I'm gonna end the day for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning everybody. Another morning. Woke up a little bit more leisurely. Um, it is Friday and I think I don't know. My meetings are lasting up until 5 o'clock today, so I thought maybe like just take it easy. Gonna go downstairs, maybe have breakfast at my hotel's uh, restaurant. They have like a really nice setup there, coffee as well. I'm probably not going to the office today, mainly because no one goes to the office on Fridays, I'm told. Um, but I might be hopping around to different spots within the Shoreditch neighborhood, or maybe even venture a little outwards. Um, might go to a coffee shop after breakfast, and then I'm meeting up with a friend, co-worker, who is actually in London as well, normally in Austin. Um, actually, yeah, he normally lives in Austin, but he happens to be here. Uh, so I'll be meeting him, then work some more, and then meeting up with another friend, Joanna, my friend here that lives in London. We're going to this place uh, that I've had saved on my Google Maps for a very long time, so really excited for that. So follow along, another work day. After day, it is a holiday for the next day. 
So, see you guys at breakfast. having lunch with my friend Nick. Really cool, he actually lives typically in Austin, but uh, got to go to Gloria, which is really, really fun. I've had it saved in my um, in my Google Maps for the longest time. They do this like cheese roll thing where they put the pasta in like, the cheese bowl, but the cacio e pepe that I ended up getting was so good. Got some tiramisu. But now I'm heading over to find a coffee shop to work the rest of the day before I head over to this Filipino restaurant called Donya. I think I mentioned already. Um, but I have some meetings that I have to do as well. But really good last few days before heading back to Seattle. Look at this. It's a little red double, double decker. Okay. Finally done with our last meeting. Back in the room, I'm gonna freshen up. Excited to go meet up with my friend Joanna. Donia, been on my list. It's like a Filipino restaurant, a little bit more fusion, modern. It is located in the Soho area, so maybe afterwards we'll kind of walk around. I haven't really been doing much like sightseeing or things other than work and eating since I've just been in the office and kind of heads down on catching up after like a week and a half of being away from the office. So um, yeah, I'm excited and it's sunny. Okay, so we just got out of Donia. Joanna, how did you like it? It was good. I had no expectations, so I was pleasantly surprised. The Kini Lao, very good. Oh, so I would have that again. It was so good. And then, okay, we're gonna have to. We we'll have to wait till this like leaves so I don't get demonetized. <laughs> and then we had like uh, dumplings. Crab and prawn and pork dumplings. So good. Like the, the sauce. Sauce. Yeah. sauce is good. Yeah. But then we had our mains. And I was like, oh, should we get the, the um, lechon and the nasal? Is that too heavy? But we ended up getting it anyways. Both were very good. Got the drinks. We were really good as well. Yeah. So um, we're walking around. Gonna burn off some of what we ate. And then I think there is... A, a Filipino. Filipino ice cream pop-up that Jane told me, so we're gonna go and find it. We're gonna go there, but really cool walking around Carnaby Street. We went to Liberty earlier. I'm wearing some like <laughs> perfume that smells like tae or no suka. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up, but we will see you guys at the pop-up. Okay, last and only full day here in London. Let's go. I am just waking up. Maybe not just. I took a shower earlier. It is about 7.20 in the morning, Saturday. And what am I doing? I'm heading to Bister Village. If you guys don't know what Bister Village is, it's a place that I go to quite often whenever I come to London. And they are a luxury outlet mall. They have everything, mostly everything. There's no Louis Vuitton, there's no uh, Hermes, but there is a Dior, Celine, Saint Laurent, Loewe, uh, Acne Studios, uh, Prada, Fendi. They have all, they have most of the luxury brands, and I love going there because you can find a deal sometimes. Um, so I'm going there in the morning, and then later in the afternoon, I am going to be continuing my train journey from Bister Village to Oxford to meet up with my cousin and his wife. Uh, they're expecting at the end of the month, so I caught them at a very unique time where maybe in the next week or two, Donna is gonna give birth. Uh, you saw them in the last vlogs back in December in uh, London, um, so it'll be good to see them 
briefly before heading home. And that's gonna be my Saturday before I head out tomorrow morning, so come along. <laughs> about an hour and 20 minutes to get here to Bisser Village. Really relaxing train ride. Ended up eating my Pret croissant coffee. I'm ready to go shopping, see what deals I can find here. The re main reason I like coming here is because of like the brands. <laughs> because the ones back home don't offer the same. So let's go. Just getting done with shopping at the station kind of rest area and something from Saint Laurent, something from Luxitan, rituals, a gift for my cousins who are expecting, and I kind of went ham on Bottega. So I will talk a little bit about that when I get back to the hotel. But uh, see you guys in Oxford meeting up with Donna and DK. Um, to meet up, so. Also, pro tip, going back to central London, bring a discreet bag to take your shit because you can't draw attention with all the stuff you bought just fine. Met up with my cousin DK. Uh, he lives here in Oxford and um, had lunch earlier. Really good place. Got pork belly. He got smoked salmon. But we're just walking around. Uh, there's a lot of like schools here um, and like the church, university, a lot of students. So just walking around and seeing all of the history. Here at the train station, about to head to Marlebone. So much fun catching up. Maybe I'll see him and maybe the baby and Donna in December. Who knows? See you in London. Okay, so I just got out of Liverpool. I got out of the train, then I went to Liverpool Street Station, and I am at a ramen restaurant getting chicken katsu curry. Um, I'm hungry, ready to eat, and then head back to my hotel. Maybe I'll do like a little rundown of what I got right over there. <laughs> okay, I am back in my hotel room. All the regular lights are off, and literally you guys are just facing this big window that has the opaque screen. So it's like actually pretty perfect lighting. Um, but if you go downstairs, it's like really, uh, it's like sunset so it's a little dark but up here on the seventh floor it's great wanted to quickly go over what i had in my bag um to end this vlog i went to like several places let's start from like kind of more basic items to like the high ticket items um there's this place called ritual which is like a uh bath scent type of place that i got a couple items from um, I got a new car. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned that I got a new car, but I got a new car. And they have these um, car perfumes, which are pretty much like these deodorizers. One is with the scent Oris Mimosa, which has this like really light, airy, clean scent to it. And then there's another one that were just like the refills because I got the actual insert that you put in the vent. Uh, this one is called Suede Vanilla, which I feel like this would be perfect during maybe like fall time. A little bit warm, a little bit sweet, 
<clears throat> Great. And then I put on my scent a Eau de Parfum, the Nuit Dazar, which masculine fragrance, ode to old Persian tradition of Yalda, woody, vertiver, minty sage, aroma sound. It's like very warm. I think this would be perfect for like nighttime during like the fall and winter season. And I've been looking for a new scent and actually really excited for this. <clears throat> Next place that I went to was L'Occitane en Provence, and I wasn't going to get this, but um, it's like a bigger box, but really it's just three of their uh, high popular items of the mini hand cream. I got the hand cream, which is, all these are 20% shea butter, hand cream with the, the, like the regular one, the one with... I believe almond, and then this one is with neroli and orchid. So, really excited. They do. They did have a little wall that had like a lot more scents. Some of them were 20% shea butter. Some of them were like a little bit more liquidy. But this one's gonna be really rich. Um, so I got that. Went to Saint Laurent, and this is the last size. But it is this. It's actually very, very heavy. Um, it's like a really thick zip-up jacket. It has, it's not white and black, it's like this tan and black with a hoodie. And then it's actually very, very substantial, very heavy. Um, and I just really liked how it felt. It's not, it's not cotton, it's like another material. But, um, I love the, I love the... Saint Laurent logo right over here. It's embossed and then they have the logo on the zipper right over here. I thought it was pretty cool. As far as pricing goes, this was, I want to say normally, I believe this was about 11, 1200 British pounds, but it went all the way to 500. Um, and I know 500 is a lot of money per se, but um, I find that like this, there's one thing that's kind of missing on my wardrobe and it's like a zip up black jacket and I feel like I would wear this. I might even wear this to the airport tomorrow. That's that. And then lastly, went to Bottega Veneta and I wasn't planning on buying so many things. So as you guys can see, uh, there's a box with a dust bag and then another dust bag that's because I bought two bags <laughs> uh, the first one and they're the same style different color different material this one oh it is that infamous Bottega green and I already have a couple bags of this style but in just different materials different colors mini cassette in this like Bottega green oh but it is using this like um, I want to say it's like a calf skin that has a little bit of texture to it so it's not supposed to be perfect looking there's gonna be imperfections with like the wrinkling but I think that's okay with this green bag this to be quite honest I got a really good deal on this typically is around over 900 pounds but it ended up being down to like 497 495 so i thought like it's such a good deal and i also was looking at this other color different color different um material and it happens to be this kind of like strawberry red color that looks absolutely stunning it's not like a deep red at all it's like a vibrant red and I just thought the color was stunning and perfect for the upcoming season it looks a little bit more deeper red but it's actually like in between a coral and a red like a little bit more saturated this was a little over 600 something pounds but I was told that if you spend over 1,000 pounds if you spend over a certain amount, you get 20% off. So already, I got 20% off on top of 
the sale price. So I thought that was a really good deal. <clears throat> and then lastly, <laughs> I got two shirts. This one is like similar to the infamous Bottega Green, but it's in the, uh, the shirt. And then when you cuff the sleeves, you get this like black color. This is also very substantial, very thick fabric. This is one item that I'm probably just only going to wash on cold and then hang dry. As well as my last item, which also is a t-shirt, but this one is an orange color. So on top of um, that, when you cuff the sleeve, I thought one really cool detail is that once you cuff the sleeve, you get this like Bottega Veneta uh, emboss logo, very subtle on the sleeve, which I thought was really cool. They actually, it's funny, uh, I'm usually not a small in other sizes, brands, but in this one I was a, I was a small for both. Also, because I spent over that limit, I got an additional 20% off on these on top of the outlet price, which it was great. Anyways, I'm gonna end today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching my whole day. This is my last full day here in London. Um, I'm gonna pack tonight and then tomorrow's vlog is gonna be the going home vlog. So gonna be flying on a new carrier, a new airline that I've never flown on before on their business class. So stick around for that and yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.